Hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved, all over the globe, all over the continent, is your servant, Reverend Eric Amankwa, a minister of the Brethren of Ghana, bringing unto you a moment of prayer and truth. Beloved, the passage is 1 Thessalonians 2, 11 through 12, and the theme is Live Lives Worthy of God. Beloved, today is Tuesday, September 24, 2024. Beloved, shall we pray? Oh God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of all my heart, our heart, be acceptable unto you, O God. You are my rock and my redeemer. Amen. 1 Thessalonians 2, 11 through 12. For you know that we dealt with each of you as a father deals with his own children, encouraging, comforting, and urging you to live lives worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. Beloved, in this passage, Paul reminds the Thessalonians of his ministry among them. He uses the metaphor of a father caring for his children to describe his relationship with the believers. The imagery conveys both authority and tender care. Paul mentions three specific actions. Encouraging. Encouraging. In, in the Greek, which implies to come alongside or to offer support. The other one is comforting, which means speaking closely to someone or offering a consolation. The other one is urging, meaning uh, it carries the sense of insistent witness or testimony. Beloved, these actions were all directed towards one goal, that the Thessalonians would live lives worthy of God. The word worthy implies a balance. As on a scale, our lives should balance with or be fitting for the calling we have received. My brothers and sisters in Christ, hear the word of the Lord. Just as Paul fathered the Thessalonian church, God is calling spiritual mothers and fathers to, to rise up in this generation, the body of Christ needs mature believers who will encourage the downhearted, comfort the broken, and urge all to live lives worthy of our calling. Beloved, in the name of the Lord, God is raising a standard in these last days. He is looking for believers whose lives will be a testimony, whose conduct will match their confession. The world is watching. And is angry for authenticity. Beloved, in the name of the Lord, will we answer the call to live lives that truly reflects the God we serve? I see a generation arising, unashamed of the gospel, uncompromising in their devotion. They will shine like stars in a crooked and depraved generation. Their lives will be a living epistle read by all testifying to the transforming power of Christ. Remember, we are called into God's kingdom and glory. There is no small thing. Our lives should reflect the majesty and splendor of the king we serve. That is our Lord and Master Savior, Jesus the Christ. Beloved, let every aspect of your life, our lives, your work, your relationships, your speech, your thoughts, be worthy of this high calling. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as we align our lives with God's standard, we become conduits of His power and presence. Our very lives will preach, even when our mouths are silent. Let us therefore examine our, ourselves, and by God's grace, live lives truly worthy of Him. Beloved, as I pray with you and as you pray with me, say, O oh Lord, grant us the wisdom and strength to live lives that are worthy of your calling. Father Lord Jesus, raise up spiritual mothers and fathers who will indeed encourage, comfort, and then urge believers towards godly living. Spirit divine, align our hearts, our minds, and, our, and actions with your will, that we may be effective witnesses for your kingdom. Beloved, I pray for that brother. I pray for that sister. I don't know what you are going through, but anything, anything that is tormenting you, anything that is disturbing your mind, I pray, I pray, I pray that may the good Lord give you sound mind. There is somebody hearing the sound of my voice. It looks as if you are not thinking properly. You are not thinking properly. May the good Lord help you and give you a sound mind. I pray for you. I pray for you that may your thoughts, may all your thoughts, may your thought, nothing by your thought will be will be one, will be one. 
that will indeed indeed bring uh, glory to the living God. May your thought, may your thought once again bring glory to the living God. I pray that whatever thing that is going through your mind, whatever your thoughts are, I pray that may it bring glory unto the living God by the power of the Holy Ghost. May your mind be set free from every spirit of obsession, oppression, and then possession in the name of our Lord and Master Savior Jesus, the Christ. Beloved, shall we pray? Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for your calling, indeed calling us into your kingdom and glory. We acknowledge that, oh, on our own, we may fall short of living lives worthy of you. But we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit that enables us to live righteously. Lord, help us to encourage one another to comfort the broken and to consistently urge each other towards godly living. Spirit divine, may our lives be a testimony to your goodness and grace, drawing others into your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Beloved, he will hear same time tomorrow by this time the sound of my voice. Is shalom alechem. Is shalom alechem. Is peace. Is peace. May the peace of God be upon you. Is bye bye.